What's up, everybody? Welcome to round three of the D3 Esports Championship Cup. I'm your host, Carlos Figuerella. I'm excited to be today with Simon Dawson from Dawson Racing. Simon, pleasure to have you. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Carlos. It's uh, it's good to be uh, uh, sitting in the seat next to you, although it, we've got a little distance between us. But, you know, it's good to be good to be next to you, mate. Absolutely. To our audience out there, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this week, Ian Dawson is serving as the race director. So uh, glad to have Simon with us. Um, you know, we're, we're definitely excited about uh, how everything has progressed over the few weeks. Simon, give us a quick overview of the D3 Esports Cup Championship. Yeah, absolutely, Carl. So, you know, we're into round three now. Uh, it's been great watching it from behind the scenes, uh, seeing how all the sort of lobbies have been coming together, seeing the interaction between the drivers, watching you guys doing the broadcasts, which is awesome. Uh, great to see, you know, your experience in esports and Ian's experience in motorsports, and then both the two of you's growing interest in crossover worlds so, uh, and growing knowledge. But, uh, you know, this week we've started to look at season two. Um, so, you know, that's why Ian and I decided to switch some roles up this week is, is so he can kind of just have a look at the racing um, and, uh, and really get into that side of things. Um, so that, sh that should be cool to, to see how that comes. Um, obviously, this is a, a Swiss format tournament series. So these four weeks, these four rounds with different tracks is all about each driver being paired up against one but they're all on track together. So from a broadcast perspective, you know, you're able to, and the fans and the viewers are able to see what looks like a real race, but actually each driver will see beforehand who they're paired up with. So the course of the four weeks, when we come into that fifth week round at Road Atlanta, the, the qualifying has been done over those past four weeks and it's a true qualified grid. Um, so it gives everyone a chance to have a good race, a bad race, you know, and all of those are actually on the D3 Esports uh, website. Um, so they can, you can click on to tournament, you can click on the rounds and you can see where everybody's been paired up, how they've been doing. And then you can also see what the next rounds uh, groupings are. So yeah, it's exciting format. Definitely. And we've seen over these past three, uh, two weeks so far, some exciting racing. Uh, we've seen our racers get acclimated to the conditions in the track. You know, we started off the first week at Road to America. Last week, we were at Brands Hatch. And this week, we're really excited to be at uh, Watkins Glen. You know, this is going to be a really exciting week. So, um, you know, overall, kind of give us a quick recap. What have you seen the past two weeks and what do you expect to see this week? Yeah, no, I think the round one at um, Road America was awesome. Uh, high power track, lots of straights, but pretty technical. Uh, very impressed with how all the drivers just got on, um, kept on track, um, had a great time. Uh, really impressed with how they all were able to jump in early, get you know three races each round. So really, really hats off to them and thank you very much for them all getting on that because I know a lot of them uh, all have day jobs <laughs> so or at university. Sure. So that was great. You know, moving on into Brands Hatch, tough little track, um, but you know we had to get a little bit of England in there very historical track. Um, it gives us a good opportunity as well to kind of see how some of the drivers are doing. Um, and uh, yeah, excited to see Watkins Glen brings us back to America. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we're watching, watching it's, you know, one of the drivers here watching Sid rip round with the Viva car. Um, you know, this was, this, this was some good stuff. So yeah, looking forward to see Watkins. Watkins, another high speed track, you know, we're gonna see in a little bit uh, you know, a lap of it and, um, you know, a lot of Armco, a lot of walls. Um, but yeah, I think we've also worked quite a lot with the drivers this week. You know, we've been able to live to the STEM uh, education and spend a good bit of time with each of the drivers to get them comfortable with where to brake, where to turn, how to drive the car. And, you know, the, the D3 Transformer teams help them out with that as well. Absolutely. Next, uh, can you cover some of the rules and scoring going into the D3 Cup? Yeah, no. So the, the rules and scoring, I mean, ultimately the rules, it's quite simple. You know, we've, we've kind of mirrored what everyone is familiar with, with the Forza Championship, you know, so it's all a fixed setup. Um, some of them, will, you know, have seen that you normally, they would change tracks, change cars and bounce between cars. I love that format. Um, 
we wanted to try and keep consistency in the car because really we're representing the brands and the message of the brands. Uh, and so too is each driver in there. So we wanted to stay with the car, change the tracks. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fixed uh, setup for the cars. Um, you know, we set that up, they log into the lobby, boom, cars ready to go. It also makes it um, easy for whether someone's sitting in a full sim rig um, with a Zotac PC or whether someone's on an Xbox with a controller or an Xbox with a steering wheel, it, it kind of balances it out a little bit. Um, as we're seeing with Don, you know, uh, he's the car with Don Ente, it's Don Magnuson, but he's ripping around on a couch with an Xbox, you know, with his thumbs in full go. So it's, and he's up there nearly in the podium every weekend. So pretty cool how the, how the rules are working out. Um, but yeah, point wise, um, like, like I said just a little bit earlier, you know, you've got qualifying for four rounds, comes down to the fifth race, which will be at Road Atlanta, and that's where the winning is, right? Um, but at the end of it, you know, you've obviously got where, you know, how they've been doing in each of the one to ones as well. Definitely. Definitely. And, and we've seen, you know, over the course of the last two races, different turns uh, and the tracks are just completely different. Um, excited yeah. to, you know, going into Watkins Glen. Uh, we're going to New York, right? And we've got uh, uh, right there in the, the Finger Lakes. So excited to be, uh, be, be there. We have a, a video to talk through. Um, we have a video to talk through some of the turns and, and what to expect there. So uh, here's something for our fans. Absolutely. We are at Watkins Glen, so we're now going to do a, a lap of the track. Um, we're up here in New York State, great facility. We're now coming down the main pit straight. The uh, pits are on your right hand side. So we're coming into turn one, which the track as you see is falling away from you. Quite a quick right hand corner here. Got to be very careful on the exit, but you've got to carry a lot of speed out of it. We're sort of coming down into turn two, which takes you into what's called the S's, which is a complex of quick corners. Armco each side, very, very precise as we go through here. Uh, we're coming up to the Top of the hill, um, big elevation this track, I've probably mentioned it a couple of times. You're climbing up the hill here now and you're coming into what's called the inner loop. The inner loop was put in here to slow the cars into what we're now going into the outer loop. It's a very fast right hand corner, falling down the hill, going into what's called the chute, passing the short circuit exit. We're now coming into what starts turn six, quick corner again exiting through here down a short straight into a banked corner which is actually called the toe you're starting to exit here uphill a little bit of camber off at the top as you exit so it's very easy to catch the grass on that side we're now heading down the boot and we come to the heel the heel is turn eight which is another quick very precise left right hand corner takes you up the hill to turn nine Nine again, you've got to exit here as quickly as you can because the straight between here and 10 is very precise. 10 is a fast corner, so you've got to carry a lot of speed down the hill. So we're now going through 10, wandering down towards the last corner, turn 11. Again, exiting here, very, very precise. You've got to get some speed here as we go under the bridge. So that's one complete lap of Watkins Glen as we come past the pits. Yeah, that's an awesome track. Really excited to see how our drivers are going to uh, make these turns, you know, coming out of that starting line. You know, it's a lot of turns in that track, huh? No, it's, it's great. I mean, it's it's uh, turn one can get a little uh, a little busy, um, you know, as the as the track drops away uh, to the left, um, which then takes you up the hill uh, flat out through there. I mean, you're pulling gears full throttle mega um seen some big ones there but then at the top it opens up a little bit so as long as everyone just keeps sensible and uh you know like we keep saying to him you know it's you're all on track together but yet you are paired up with one so the, the big thing is keep consistent and be aware, aware of where you are you know so but yeah this will be this will be a good little thing with the 11 turns on the track um it'll be fun absolutely next i want to cover our eight racing teams and the 16 drivers who are racing in the D3 Esports Cup. 
That way our fans can learn a little bit more about who's in what car and what to expect. So first we have Nelson and Don that are racing in the white Dawson Racing Pro-Am Transformer car. Next in the STEM car, we have Scott and Zach. In the Audrain car, we have Ben Chesler and Antonio in the green car. We have the Zotac car that's being driven by Brandon and also Alessio, who's in Italy. In the America car, we have Joel Steele and Jeff Curran. Caesar's driving the black and gold car. And in the Viva car, we have Sydney and Tim in the Viva lime green car. So you can see we have good mix of both, uh, you know, professional drivers and drivers who have experience to guys that are learning and really taking this esports opportunity to understand all the components. Here we have Ben, who is in his, uh, you know, he's got the full rig going. Ben is definitely, you know, maximizing all of all of those screens right there. Love that setup. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's got it dialed in there. And I think, uh, you know, it's nice because you get the peripheral vision, all your mirrors are working. You know, he should be able to see, see everybody around him pretty good. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. But it's nice seeing. I think as we get into some of the other weeks, we'll probably start to showcase some of the other rigs that are going on as well. Um, but I love it how someone can sit on their couch with a, you know, Xbox console and and still be pretty competitive, you know, with with a guy that's basically sitting in a race car. <laughs> so it's uh, it's pretty cool. I, that's why I love this Forza platform. It's, um, you know, as we've said before, great barrier of entry to get in. Um, I love in, you know, the broadcast quality is just fantastic. Um, it's been really cool seeing how the teams have put their brands on their cars as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's exciting to watch. And I hope everyone's enjoying it as well. Definitely. And we're working with some great partners um, that we've called out. Obviously, uh, STEM.org is a huge partner of ours. Uh, mentioned uh, Viva. Uh, we have the America team. Zotac has been a great partner. All of these partners have really come together to help just bring this together. So uh, shout out to all of them. Um, and, and as I mentioned, you know, STEM, STEM.org has been a huge partner. You've had a long history working with them. Uh, you know, as, as we mentioned, definitely enjoy uh, that partnership. And STEM.org is presenting sponsor of the D3 Esports Cup Virtual Championship. They're the longest continually operating, privately held STEM education research and credentiating organization in America since 2001. STEM.org is supporting the world's top brands and organizations and thousands of educators globally. So another shout out to them, a uh, great partner, and we're excited that all our drivers are learning and being able to bring this experience uh, in esports together. So our drivers are getting ready. Uh, we're, we'll be off to the races here shortly. Uh, so definitely check us out. We'll, uh, we'll be right back here shortly. Now the guy warned Seth that it's gonna look like no one lives here, but there are people there and you don't wanna f with them. Yeah. Know what happens when we 
<laughs> really good. Let's go. Yeah, I got the juice. Yeah, I got the juice. Yeah, true. And so we're back. Our drivers are getting ready. We're excited to have uh, race start here shortly. Simon, you've been working with our drivers over the past few weeks, getting to know more about them. Uh, obviously, you've got some pretty long lasting relationships with some of the drivers that you've worked with. And there's some new drivers as well that are, are you know, hot on the scene. So tell us a little bit more about who's riding today and, and uh, you know, tell our audience more what they can expect from them. Yeah, absolutely, and I, and I can weave a, a little bit of their stories in as we as we see the action on the track as well. You know, if someone uh, starts to do something, to, uh, you know, right out the textbook or a little bit of Hollywood stuff, we can we can bring up some information on that. But um, yeah, obviously, you know, we we know well about uh, the STEM car. You know, it, you've got two students uh, in there. One's at university right now. One's working real hard after coming through the SAE program. Um, you know, everybody's in, in each of the teams for a reason, you know, and, uh, you know, whether it's passionate about the brand, whether it's, which generally there's passion already in all of this stuff, but, um, but yeah, Zach, um, and, uh, Scott, um, really great to, to spend a bit of time and chat with them a little bit about things. You know, one of the big things we're trying to, you know, get with them is when students are coming out of university is, is start to have a look at some, some really solid, uh, work placement, um, that they can kind of understand a little bit about the careers a little bit more. So, you know, that's really cool with the STEM guys. Um, obviously with the Viva car, known Sydney for, for many years, we, we grew up playing uh, high school tennis um, and also went on the tour together. Um, and then obviously raced a little bit for real with us. Um, and then when, uh, when all of this uh, mess happened, uh, the real stopped and the virtual kicked and uh, it's great to see him in a virtual car. Um, Obviously, Tim's a very good friend of ours as well, and you know he's a uh, he, he's you know he's, he's an oil and gas guy, um, really, but also unbelievable uh, strength and conditioning coach. Works with a number of different Olympic athletes, um, so putting two guys like that together in Sid's team um, was great. I mean, they've hit it off like a house on fire, and uh, been working really well together. And obviously, both in Houston as well. Um, not not that that makes any difference these days. <laughs> Might as well be in Timbuktu. Sure. Um, and, uh, you know, then we move into the American car. Um, that's, uh, again, a good friend of ours, known uh, known the owner for a while, known the group around that, uh, having two military guys uh, in there and, and uh, you know, is just fantastic. And uh, having spent a bit of time with them last week, just uh, helping them on the track with the settings and things like that, um, you know, while they've been getting their rigs set up, um, both kind of new to Forza. Um, but, um, but yeah, we've taken it on really well. Um, you know, it's, um, Jeff, particularly Jeff Curran, he, he's got a good, good racing background to him on water and, uh, on track. So really cool to see that and, uh, nice. learned a little bit of, you know, his, his daughter's well into, to rebuilding cars as well. So it's, it's in the blood, which is great. You know, it's always good to have it in blood. Um, you know, and then obviously we, we, we slide into the ore drain car. I mean, those guys are as plugged into the automotive industry as you're going to get, um, you know, from cars way back to Henry Ford's first one right up to current ones, you know. So, you know, both both Ben and, uh, and Antonio work in the museum um, and, uh, and and operate the sim as well. So that's cool that they've got this opportunity to do it and uh, represent. Um, obviously, the two Dawson racing programs, uh, one Pro-Am with Don in there, Mega with the IT, been using Forza since the first one came out, 
Uh, obviously, Nelson races with us, um, driven many, many different cars, still works in the industry, races it with us, you know, so that's a cool car to put together there. Um, and then, you know, we have Pablo and Ben in the red one, red transformer. Um, one's a technician, one's a data guy. So, you know, uh -huh. really, uh, really cool. Um, you know, so good, good little mix of stuff. And yeah. then of course, last but not least, Zotac, you know, head of sales is absolutely in there racing. But uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go, aren't we? And uh, yeah, I hopefully in the Zotac now. 